Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster, finishing up the second half of our medieval section now, which is now named Medieval Midway. That was, just, uh, that was a suggestion from one of you in the comments of the last episode, so thank you very much for that suggestion. I ended up liking it, going well with the alliteration thing, but if you guys are excited for what we're doing in this episode or future episodes, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something, let me know if we want to see more Planet Coaster on the channel. Uh, you may have guessed already by looking at what we're doing here, but we are building a castle. I decided to not just get one for the Steam Workshop and actually go through the process of building one. So I spent a couple hours uh, just tinkering around with the idea and eventually just building using the limestone as our main feature. And honestly, this castle came out better than I could have possibly hoped. It was pretty awesome. Again, not really modeling it after anything real, just kind of making it up as I go. And I wanted this to be the main bay for our coaster, our medieval area coaster that we're going to be having in this area. And I had some trouble fitting the coaster in here to try and decide like the exact size I wanted for the uh, coaster bay because I, I built this top part here. You can kind of see that flat part that's already built up. That's where the coaster bay will be going. And so you can imagine the coaster kind of launched from there and then it kind of snakes through. Uh, we have it pierced through the castle a little bit and I didn't do much to fix the holes. I mean, there's not much I could do, uh, but I definitely will try and improve it off camera. And then show you guys around. But do 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 we do do a little tour at the end as well as ride the coaster. So I think it came out pretty cool. I was really happy with this coaster. It's a lot smoother, and I actually put the brakes in like everybody wants me to, which I never really do. But it's smooth. It has brakes, and came out pretty cool looking. But we're going with a sort of a gray, orange, and bluish theme to this one. So mostly gray with just the limestone everywhere, but then the the caps of the towers and the roofs and stuff. I was making them that nice blue and orange color because those colors go well together. And then I try and have the the coaster reflect that so you'll see that as we get to it but we're just working on leveling up the coaster or leveling up the the castle make it real tall like you can see this thing from the entrance of the park i don't think it's quite as tall as our mount olympus coaster uh that thing gets really high up there but it's pretty substantial actually i didn't i didn't check with the height of it it might be even taller because uh we built this third tower up here and then we cap that off so it's pretty big uh, the coaster doesn't go all the way down to the ground though, so it's not it's a, it doesn't have too much of a height drop. Uh, this coaster is pretty simple. There's no inversions or anything. It's relatively short. I was thinking this more as like the kitty coaster of a park, because the first one in uh, pre prehistoric peak isn't too bad. Uh, there is there is there a loop on that one? I think there might be. That one's not too bad, but then the uh, Mount Olympus coaster there definitely is a loop and a really big helix, and it's pretty intense. So this one's supposed to be a little bit more family friendly. So then we're kind of piercing the coaster through there, and I wasn't sure where it was going to go out the wall, so I just decided to tear off the entire back wall, make it a little bit easier for me, and then we have a snake up a little bit more and start the drop off right there. So its main dive is going to be right over the coaster bay, which I love doing, and then I was playing around with some different things. Yeah, this one is not even capable of uh, going inverted, but that's okay. And then we just kind of have it wrap around a few times. So just a lot of uh, bank turns. That's the main gist of the coaster. Not too fast, not too steep, but it's pretty smooth. And you'll see in the first person ride at the end of this video that it came out pretty well. It's one of my favorite coasters. It just flows really nicely. And then we just loop back around here. And then I just had it uh, finish off. I had to delete part of the wall too, but that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> that's a weird saying. My sister-in-law. Like said that saying once, and me and my brother just like made fun of it a lot. <laughs> That's a horse of a different color. I don't know why. But here I was just uh, checking it out, make sure it was all working. So it's sped up right now, so it's kind of for you guys to see. But uh, we do a full one at the end. It looks a lot nicer at the end because that castle is actually dressed up and everything. But there we go. Coaster is complete. Oh, I went and added the brakes this time. So we actually slow it down before it gets into the bay. Uh, people were telling me, like, if you slam people into the coaster bay like that, you're going to snap everybody's necks. That's not the. Nicest thing to do to your guests at your theme park, but we made it look a little bit better. Now I was just changing the colors a bit, trying to match it a little bit more. We ended up changing the uh, the co the railing co or bays, not bays, stands, those orange. I ended up changing it to a gray to try and blend it in with the limestone, and I think it looks a little bit better. I do like the orange. I changed a different part of the railing or track to orange, but I don't think it looked quite as good. I'm a little conflicted about that. I think I think the orange was cool. But it kind of stuck out a little bit too much. The gray helps blend it into the castle a little bit more. It looks better uh, from a distance. And then I'm just trying to fill in some of the holes we tore out. And I have the paths kind of winding their way up on the left and the right. Uh, there's just like a spiral in there. I think for some reason they got cut out. Uh, or I just wasn't recording that. But it, it doesn't look too great on the inside. But again, I'm focusing more on the exteriors. Because that's what's important to me. 
and the game the game performance like I mentioned is already getting a little bit laggy even at this stage and we have two more areas to do we have the western world up next and uh, the futuristic area we're doing those next people keep giving me more suggestions for areas no I'm, I'm pretty much set on these uh, the biggest suggestion that people keep saying is do a pirate area no, pir everybody does pirates in this game. That's what everyone's been doing. Because when this game first came out, it had two themes. It had modern and it had, like, pirates. And so everybody's done pirates. Every one of their mothers has done pirates in this game. Every YouTuber ever has done a pirate park already. So, just trying to branch away from that a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more a little bit more creative with ours. Even though people have been doing western and fairy tale and medieval and stuff like that but I don't know I just don't feel like doing pirate uh, I'm, I'm set in my choices but I do need names for our next areas the medieval oh no sorry this is the medieval area we need names for the western area and the futuristic area so if you have any ideas for that go ahead and start uh, suggesting them sorry for not responding to everybody's uh, these playing coaster videos have been getting upwards of 500 comments in the first day uh, maybe like 400 I think because I'm, I'm not counting my responses too so it's been a little tricky just going through the comments. I'm trying to respond to a lot of them, uh, especially all the nice positive ones. Hey, I've even responded to a couple of the mean angry ones because they have been there. I don't delete them unless they're like really messed up mean comments, but <laughs> I just have fun with it sometimes. I can't help myself. I, I get people cursing at me all the time. So I'm addressing up the area a little bit. You guys saw I did the Coaster Bay a little bit there. Finally found the swords. I don't know where I thought those were. So we did a nice little uh, cross swords there. Adding some of these really cool windows that they added in the Alpha 3 update. As well as some of the window uh, boxes. The flower boxes I guess those are called. Oh, my allergies are going crazy right now. It's really hard focusing on this game. Oh, that's what I get for moving to the Midwest. Allergies going nuts. Now what are we doing? Okay, I was trying to fill in that hole there. I didn't want to interrupt the path or anything. Uh, so this might be a hole in the back of that. But that's okay. That's when you're leaving the ride. Nothing needs to be too impressive. Taking some more of our animatronic knights, having them uh, guard up there on the turrets, kind of pace back and forth. And I really like this guy. I just, I like how big he is compared to the regular person right there. So he's just gonna hang out at the entrance of the coaster with our little uh, attendant. And then I realize, oh, that path looks stupid. Let's try and fix that. There we go. It actually fits to the window now. It looks much nicer, doesn't it? And I need a lot more lights in this place. And something I realized, I don't know if I should do in the video, but. I'm missing a lot of uh, trash cans and janitors, so I, I I had like 10 more janitors to our park and like put a bunch of trash cans everywhere just because people were dumping trash all over my nice clean sidewalks. And you can't change the color of these flags. A little disappointed by that. Uh, I thought flags and banners and stuff would be something really cool to be able to change the colors of because it's kind of a nice uh, way to landmark everything, but no, we can't do that yet. I imagine that's something they'll definitely add in the future, so we gotta look forward to that. Adding those knights on there. I really like those little touches all over the place. The torches, or I guess they're not torches, the lanterns, the knights, the banners. Really makes it look cool. And there we go. Open up the coaster. I don't think I'd probably test it at this point, so people aren't gonna ride it. At some point I do do a test. But that is not right now. And then we're doing a little bit of landscaping all up and down the area, adding some bushes. You guys know I love my trees and bushes and stuff. Looking very, very nice. Getting a nice little uh Zoomed out view, so the whole part, uh, this whole part of the park is starting to come together. Looks real nice. There, I'm experimenting, experimenting with changes in color. So we made the main rail orange rather than the supports. And I, actually, I think that looks okay. It looks decent. And then I wanted the complete wall in this area. Uh, so we're just taking these guys, some of our long wall sections, kind of copying and pasting them all over, and trying to make it just look a little bit nicer. Uh, some of the joints are a little bit weird, but I fixed that later. I can't remember if I did that on camera or off camera, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out at some point. Soon all things will be clear to us. I like it. I like this uh, the sort of non-regular... <laughs> what am I trying to say? I like this, this strange shape of the wall that it's not just like a perfect square or something or even just a rectangle. I like the kind of oblong shape. So it looks pretty nice. Trying to add some more water here. Nice little pond. Just trying to smooth that out, because sometimes when you push the ground down by the paths, it looks real jagged and kind of gross, but eh, it came out all right. And then I was liking these birch trees all throughout here, so I thought we'd just fill that area in. For some reason, this area is really reminding me of... Uh, if you ever played Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda, on the N64, uh, when you have to sneak into Hyrule Castle to talk to Zelda. That's what this area is really reminding me of. It's, it's probably just the colors of the walls and stuff and the real stiff robotic looking knights that kind of march around and he had to sneak by. 
But I think it looks really cool. Uh, someone actually left a good comment that they said that the pastel color of the teacup ride uh, looks doesn't look great, and I agree with that. I should probably go change that. I keep forgetting I can change the colors of flat rides. I built so many parks and so many rides in this game with without the ability to do that, but now that we have the ability, I keep forgetting. So I will get around to doing that. And this is the part I was talking about earlier where I just took these little turrets and uh, placed them all along the walls, and I think that came out pretty cool looking. And then realizing, okay, we need some more lighting all throughout here. Because basically what I'm about to do is, as each area of the park, like if you zoom out and see, you can see all the areas of the park, they should all get lighter because as technology advances, like a night at light comes or becomes a little bit more uh, frequent. And so this area should be relatively bright. I could use some of like the uh, big spotlights throughout there, uh, but I don't really want to. I'm not sure. And I, I forgot to, well I didn't have time because this was during, uh, this was actually recorded yesterday. I meant to go put the, uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, Medieval Midway, the two M's up there, but I'll do that off camera. Or before the next episode, so you guys will definitely see that. At the entrance and the exit for the time portal over to the Old West area, which I gotta get to building. I'll, I'll be doing that today. Probably spend about four or five hours building that, but look at that castle in the distance. Looks so cool. Oh, looks awesome. Uh, I need to put some lights somehow higher up there. I think that'd look really cool. I just love the distance in this game and that bald guy in front of us looks very confused he's looking around I don't know what he's looking around for probably get a drink shop or something oh, those people have to pee gotta build a restaurant over here but here we are at sunrise going down the main strip of the medieval area medieval midway I like that name because this is the middle area of the park and I thought that kind of uh, fit you know because it's the middle area I love that rooftop terrace oh it looks so cool up there I absolutely love it the clock right up there looks fantastic as well and now we're back over on the coaster. I guess I do need a name for the this coaster. Something like the Camelot Coaster or something. But yeah, there you go. If you guys have any of those uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And now we get to ride it. Again, yeah, pretty proud of how this coaster came out. It's very smooth. That exit out of the wall doesn't look great. Uh, I might extend the wall back a little bit just so we can have a s more simpler part simpler hole for the coaster to exit out of it just doesn't look super great to me but I'm pretty happy with how it all came out definitely had a ton of fun with this uh, this part of the park took a lot of time just because so much detail work all throughout here so I don't know if it was a little cavalier with uh, speeding up the footage but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it came out if you guys did uh, if you did R2 words are hard <laughs> leave a like leave a comment leave something letting me know if you're enjoying Planet Coaster, want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.